in this second part we are going to discuss the details of northern great plains and the peninsular plateau let's focus on the first that is northern great plains this fertile and vast land extending up to seven northern indian states here is the map outline map for you which shows the area of northern plains and it is divided into four brahmaputra plain ganga plain marustheli bagar plain and punjab haryana plain based on this map you can locate the different states which is the part of northern great plains here is a worksheet for you to note the states the table gives the details that the rivers causing the deposition and the formation of these plains Uh, we should know how the northern great plain was formed i think you have already learned in your 9th standard the formation of himalayas due to the folding up of the lithosphere plates here we are going to discuss the formation of northern great plains this extensive plain took shape as a result of the continuous deposition by the rivers flowing from the himalayas they are known as himalayan rivers for thousands of years and this plain is generally known as indus ganga brahmaputra plain the highly fertile alluvial soil is a characteristic feature of this plain the area is generally known as the granary of india a variety of the crops such as wheat maize rice sugarcane cotton pulses etc are cultivated here the northern great plain is one of the most densely populated regions in the world but the western part of these plains rainfall is very scarce that's why most regions in rajasthan are deserts this desert is known as thar desert liver rooni and the long vanished river saraswati are the forces behind the formation of this region dry and salty desert soil is found in this region thorns and bushes form the natural vegetation and the rainfall is very low here you might remember that kerala receives more rainfall within a day than the annual rainfall received in rajasthan bajra jowar etc are the main crops cultivated in rajasthan these crops require very little amount of water to grow the next region that is the punjab plain is an extensive plain formed by the deposition of indus and its tributaries major crops are wheat maize and sugarcane the third geographical region of india that is the peninsular plateau entire portions of madhya pradesh jharkhand chatisgarh as well as maharashtra parts of maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu telangana odisha and west bengal together form this plateau this peninsular plateau made of hard crystal rocks forms the oldest and the most extensive physical division of india let me one for one more it is the oldest and most extensive physical division watch the map and find the area of peninsular plateau and based on that map 
let's fill the blanks given there this physical division extends about 15 lakh square kilometers the highest peak in this region is anamudi which is situates in iduki districts of kerala the area is generally known as storehouse of minerals because of the deposits of the diverse minerals the major vegetation of this region receiving seasonal rain is tropical deciduous forest the trees found in this region are teak sal sandalwood bamboo etc major portion of the deccan plateau which is the southern part of peninsular plateau the southern part of peninsular plateau plateau is generally known as deccan plateau has been formed by the cooling of lava that spread over the region millions of years ago black soil is the extensively found here it is made of igneous rocks named basalt and is also called as black cotton soil red soil also occurs in large quantities the soil formed by weathering of the igneous and metamorphic rocks is comparatively less fertile the presence of iron gives red color to the soil laterite soil is formed in the regions with monsoon rains and intermittent hot seasons this peninsular plateau is also the source of regions of many rivers they are generally known as peninsular rivers based on the given map let's complete the chart given and look at the another chart that's uh, given there and you can complete it with the states through which it flows and see which it joins let's refer the map in this peninsula rivers godavari is the longest waterfalls are common in, in most of the peninsula rivers the highest among these is jog falls in the saraswati sorry sharavati river in karnataka and we have already learned two types of or two kinds of rivers in india they are himalayan and peninsular let's compare the features or the characteristics of these two rivers compare the features of himalayan rivers and peninsular rivers and here is a worksheet for you read it carefully and uh, prepare the chart based on the question and now turn to the human life in this plateau cotton pulses groundnut sugarcane maize ragi chilli etc are major agriculture crops of this region iron ore coal manganese bauxite limestone are the major minerals found here agriculture mining and mineral based industries are the major economic activities in this plateau